tuning in to watch this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new punk rock videos every week and tap the bell to get notified when new videos drop. My name is Aaron Micklow and I'm here with Fortunate Youth. Introduce hey, hey, yourselves. Hey, I'm Dan. What's up? I'm Corey. I play bass. And I'm Travi Bongo. <laughs> Yay! <Boom. Yoo! laughs> We're at a festival again. I'm so excited. Woo! Great to be outside. Cheers yep. to all. It's very nice. <laughs> Sextet is the best. You know, I, that's a new type of anything. It's supposed to be six people. Is that six people with sextet? I, I have no clue. Yes, that, I, that I, makes I, the horse a sextet? I think, I think in that? Latin it means six. Six? Oh. I got you. I, well, I, could, I could have people. the origin wrong, but I, it's six, There's, six there members. There's that are always, you know, never, yeah. never too right about. But Quick to answer your question, no, know. it does not bother me at all. It's no. pretty, pretty on point. I thought it was pretty funny. I was reading that and I was like, well, that's really specific. Sextet. Okay. Sextet. <laughs> Six individuals getting down on stage. It's funny now though, because we, we tour with horns, so we actually have eight players, so we're <laughs> yeah. an octet. Yeah. Okay. We just haven't updated oh, the Wikipedia. Octet. Okay. Yeah. Well, so how is it, you know, having so many people in a band? Can you talk about some of the pros and cons of having eight people in a band? Mm -hmm. Picking a place to eat is always hard. <laughs> yeah, it's tough to get everyone in the same place for an interview. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Oh, Especially when you hard. live in town. If you're on the road, then it's, I don't know. But I think what movie to watch think, in the back of the bus is sometimes yeah, hard, too. Everyone, it, it, you can't have everyone awake and uh, at the same time in the bus because there's too many people and not enough space. It's true. And yeah. then what do you play, Smash Brothers or Mario Kart? Oh, Mario Kart. Well, you know, it's, it's a tough battle. I'd go to Smash Brothers, so. Benefits, that, though. That's why you're sleeping while I'm awake. Uh, One of the benefits, though, is if someone is getting on your nerves, you got someone else who isn't. Because true. you got you got like eight people, ten people to go through. Yeah, that's and true. that's good. If you guys have, you know, been together for a while, you have that dynamic to just know, like, hey, I still love you, but you're just fucking bugging me right now. It's only now. been 12 100%. years. Yeah, 12 years. I think years, he finally got me, time. Yeah. you know? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Me and Dan are on the same page about that. I was chance. like, we good? He's like, yeah, we good. All right. Yeah. Hey, dude, I need a day. Sounds great. Yeah, yeah. It's all about that communication of just like, the I still love you, but you're fucking bugging me. I need you to just be away from me at they this just moment. Go out sounds, on like, dates. sounds like every girlfriend I've ever had. <laughs> sounds like it. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Well, so you guys have actually charted on the Billboard charts number one numerous times. Can you talk about the first time that happened for you and what it was like as you remember it? I called my mom, told it was like a picture of Rolling Stones right there on the cover. I was right there. Yeah, I just covered in uh, rose petals. <laughs> no, that was a good one, though. <laughs> I don't know. I felt, I felt like it was cool. Uh, I felt like, you know, I think when you hit uh, number one, you feel like you're not done. You need to achieve more. You need more number ones. Yeah, I mean, it's, n it's nice to get acknowledgement for your work. In the end, it's all art. So, like, we're just happy to be putting out music. And it, but it's really cool when people actually connect Six to your set. music. Yeah. And, you know, numbers end up showing that. That's just the world we live in. Analytics, right? Oh, Analytics. for sure, for Bottoms. sure. Yeah, I, mean, I just I like, like to make good music, and if it hits yeah. number one, then it's rad. I just, uh, it, it's just rad that it hit number one, and all we're doing here is making music that we like to play. 
Totally. It's not like we're making music for anyone out there. We're just trying to make music that make, that comes out of us. Yeah. And so when it, people love it that much to make it go number one, like I just feel good about it, and it's just a. We cool would have played feel. it anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> like if it was number one hundred, I'd be stoked. If still it was three, thing. it's still music that comes out of us that people actually enjoy. So. It's That's pretty why rad. you just need to go like this. My mom did this the first time, and I was like, "What?" She goes. Oh, oh, yeah. on the a, a very, but a but we got eight ball. people in the band, so say, we can all do that to each other. I don't need to do that. My mom pats me on the back. My mom's like, "Great job, son." And I was like, "So she does her dishes yeah, and laundry." That's adorable. Shout out to Bernice. Thanks, so uh, you gotta appreciate proud band parents. Mom. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Don't talk over each other. We all brothers and sisters. Yes, don't fight over each other. We all brothers and sisters. Yes. Fat ass joints to the audience. She got in trouble for that one. I was gonna say, how was that allowed? Like it wasn't. But you know, not you ask, you ask, you do, and you just get permission or, or ask for forgiveness later. How's that go? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's better to ask for forgiveness <laughs> than get denied or something like I, that. I didn't approve of it, but I did think it was cool. Yeah, it was <laughs> I was cool. like, guys, we shouldn't do that. And next, you know, it was happening. I was like, oh, this is actually we did pretty it a few awesome. Times too. The, the, after a while, the, the venues on tour will be like, N whatever that was. It's not happening here. Yeah. yeah. And we've had it. We've had it once where they we got in trouble to where yeah. the crowd threw the joints on stage and I threw them back at them. And what? Then they're they didn't like, want them? You're in trouble. I told you not to throw any joints. I'm like, is weird. No, is fans were throwing uh, us joints. What is, do? Oh. As weird yeah. as it may seem, part of our advance is can we smoke weed on stage? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're Guaranteed. usually pretty straightforward. It's a yes or no, and we try to respect whatever <laughs> option they give us. But sometimes our fans don't allow that. They throw burning joints on the stage, and it's kind of a natural reaction to pick them up and smoke them or share them. Well, yeah, I mean, that's part of, like, the weed culture. Yeah, like, sharing. It's, it's kind of yeah. like puff, puff, pass. Like, we're all having a good time. We're sharing. Yeah, we're stay friendly. Feel yeah. Share Care Bears. You know, Care Bears, <laughs> share. Love life. Yeah. So I saw just, what, two days ago, your album, It's a Jam, just celebrated its eight-year anniversary. Can you talk? That one charted, too, right? Yeah, I do believe so. Can you talk about the making of that album and maybe share some Ooh. special stories from that one? I think it was 2015, uh, 19. I've lost track of the years. All I know yeah, about it, that it, album is like, old. it was a lot of, um, we had just done a bunch of sessions on our own at different places and different times. And we had a bunch of cool recordings and we're like, I like this part of this song. I like this part of this song. And then we just would start kind of blending them into one song. And that next thing you know, we stacked a bunch of tracks and we're like, dude, how do we come up with that? We're like, I don't know. We all just seem to be jamming it. and. We're it's like, a oh, jam. It's all a jam. Yeah. It's all a jam. <laughs> we had the yeah. smokers on the top of the CD, the smokers top, the lid, you know? Well, yeah, the yeah. Jam. Yeah, like jam jelly. The jam yeah. jelly yeah. top. Seated, not seated, I don't know. There's we like to have fun with the albums, not be so professional. We're, we're, we're a professional in our own right, and uh, we put out albums every year, every 16 months. This last album, I think, has been two years. Yeah, yeah. it's been a while. And so it's, we're always, you know, very, uh, we don't really care about the hype much more than putting music out. Yeah. Put music out, make it be great music, and let it speak for itself. And we're at a festival, yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm outside. I'm outside. I drink a beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so also, um, your album, Eerie State of Mind, just celebrated its 10 year anniversary. Irie. Yeah, it, Irie. Irie State me. of Mind. No, it's good. So that's, <laughs> that's when you know you got your reggae heads, you know, your punk heads. Facebook makes Ow. me realize that we always release our albums in the same three months of every year. Yeah. You know, it's in your, It seems to do well for you if you keep charting. Yeah. Right. Well, well, I can't complain. Right? It's not broke. So don't fix it. <laughs> Irish State of Mind is one of my favorite, though. Like, it is one of my favorites, yeah, too. That was too. our first album. We were all really happy about it. And we did a lot of things that we probably wouldn't do now, but like they yeah. were great and we loved them. And we just were like, it's just, those songs just came. Still my out favorite of, songs yeah. to play, too. 100%. Sorry, State of Mind. Yeah, we get and a lot of requests from the first album. album. Really good one, too. <laughs>
at all your music has changed from that first album to now? I couldn't. <laughs> uh, I think it's all the same. Okay. I think it's great. You know? if, if at all, if it's changed, my perception. It's your funny. process, maybe. It's funny because we all have different perspectives about it. Like yeah. for me, our goal, and from my perspective, is like to not make the same song twice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And really, I've realized for me, when writing music and just our influences on albums, always change with what we happen to be listening to for that period of time. Yeah. You know, like I'll be That's like, true. oh, I was really getting into some golden oldies in Motown, and I next thing you know, I realized. A Motown track kind of ends up on the album with a little bit of a reggae twist, you know, yep. or, or Dan's into blues and gets back into his blues world because he's a blues man. Yeah. And next thing you know, he presents us a blues song and we're like, cool, well, how can we make this like a Fortune Youth type blues song? Yeah, for and sure. So it's just kind of just going, going with the flow, whatever we seem to be into at the time and Producing keeping music. the foundation of like what that first album is to us, which is just, you know, great reggae music that that feels good to us. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's the best way to do it, you know? Keep creating and do what you want to do, but kind of stay true to some sort of formula of, of your roots, you know? That's why you'll 100%. see maybe a lot of other bands, they'll go off and do side projects so you can yeah. kind of play around outside of the bubble. Well, what, oh, I've, yeah. what I've realized with musicians is we're all musicians. We play all music. Yeah. We love music in general. As much as one person may be a rapper or into hip hop or reggae or be a metalhead or love punk rock, if you play music, you appreciate all of it and you just want to play. Yep. For sure. Yeah. For 100%. sure. So, leading with that, with the rest of this year and live music coming back, what do you guys have coming up? I saw you guys just released a new single, right? New single, new album, new tour, new same artist, just new in the head. Yeah. The new crowd is going to be new because they're so thirsty and hungry and they're going to just tear the music apart. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be pumped up. We're going to snap it up like a. Sorry. Get it. it now. Yeah, I, I almost don't have anything to I was say about after to that. Get into some he, WWE. Oh, that kind of got me going. No, I feel the same. It's like I'm out here ready to fuck shit up. We've been in our Security guards are pumped. You gotta watch out for those guys. I haven't had a job in a while. Get out of here. But yeah, new music. Hopefully, more shows as much as we can get out of it. Um, like you said, our new single "Around the World" featuring Mellow Mood came out like last week. I think we'll have a new single coming out in the next two weeks, so keep your eyes out. I don't know. What we got a lineup just, of everything yeah. coming out. There's so keep much coming out open. that we don't even know the <laughs> date at this moment. Yeah, so, uh, we'll, we'll, fortunate.com? Yeah, there we go. I feel like Boom. everybody's like management and teams of all the bands are like, yeah, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Like, they're they're like, pulling their hair out right now. <laughs> They're pulling their hair out. Like, we haven't done anything for 18 months. We got to do everything in the span of four. Oh, Let's yeah. get it together. Quick. 100%. Yeah. They're like, you guys better not be tired. Get out there. That's us going. <laughs> and a lot of the guys had babies, so they're already tired. So <laughs> oh, and the ones that aren't here, but that. this guy's here. He, he just had a little baby, what, two years ago? Yeah, 16 months ago. Oh, yes, in the past two years, we have five babies or? I think four. Four, four babies. Four new babies in the band. In the past two years. That's awesome. Fortunate Crazy. youth. Fortunate yeah, youth. Three dudes. Definitely. Making a whole baseball Four babies. Team. One band. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <it. laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to close with that. Thank yeah, yeah. you so much for taking the time today. Always, always. No problem. Thank you. Hey, we're Fortunate Youth. And you're watching Last Rockers TV. Rah!